Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, guys. Local time is 1.49 p.m. Currently located outside of St. Joseph, Missouri. Currently traveling Interstate 29 South. And yeah, guys, if you guys are wondering how the heck did you get to Missouri from Texas? But yeah, guys, on the last video, I don't know if you guys saw it. Uh, on the description, I put the reason why I didn't record it. Pretty much nothing. What well, I did, like three or four clips, but it wasn't enough uh, for the video. But anyways, uh, we are picking up a load. I forgot the name of the city, but it's about 53 minutes away. And that's going to Kennesaw, Georgia. Yes, sir. Picks up today at 3 p.m. and delivers on Friday the 28th at 7.30 a.m. There you go. And right after that, we go home, guys. Yes, sir. We go home. Two weeks on the road. Time to go home. Yes, sir. Yeah, guys, with that being said, thank you guys for coming along with me on this new trip back home. If you guys are liking this video or if you guys are liking this type of content, go ahead and hit the like button. And make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to see more. With that being said, peace out and I'll see you guys in a minute. Peace. We got a sign door 13. Uh, let's go ahead and move the tent them now. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, there we go. I don't know why I got so confused. Okay, so door 13 is going to be right next to this uh, blue T680. Okay, and uh, direction for this place is easy. Uh, they just told me to go out and back in. I'm, I'm too far, right? No, that's good. Just back in with the doors closed, which is the first time I ever done it on a drive-in. Because um, I used to do a uh, reefer in probably what, like 60 70 percent of the time they back you in with uh well they want you to back in with the door closed so you re uh, rarely see this on a drive-in but that's how they want it then we'll do it That's good. And there you go. 
All right, that's it, guys. Let's see how long they're gonna take. Our appointment was at three. It's exactly 3.01 right now. All right, we got loaded, guys. Uh, local time is 5.02 p.m. Uh, so they took, what, about two hours? Not bad. Uh, we just gotta go ahead and pull out. We'll pull up just a little bit so we can go ahead and check the seal. Uh, you guys supposed to remember this. Uh, 6588. Just remember that. 6588. This guy has been here for like a half minute. When I got here, what, at three? You guys, you guys saw that he was already here. So I don't know if there's a, like an issue or. Sixty-five eighty-eight. So we good. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, this is actually one of those that you back in with the door closed. So thank you. So unfortunately, uh, you guys can't see what's inside. But according to this, it's 52, no, 54 pallets. I don't know if that's right. 1890 pieces. Weight sitting at 41,297. Uh, going to Kennesaw, Georgia. Uh, so let's go ahead and move the tandems. We got to move it back. I'm just gonna go ahead and move it where the the black uh, the black line is at, and then go from there. Oh, that was perfect guys well I just got to move it a little bit we're still yeah you just got to move it just a little bit backwards so the tendons can go forward It. oh yeah guys um i think yeah i forgot to tell you guys i'm actually gonna end my day here i'm just gonna park right there they do have overnight parking uh because unfortunately i only have one hour and 41 minutes no one hour and 31 minutes on my 70 hour clock and then at midnight i think i'm getting about 10 and a half hours so uh we're probably gonna start heading now from here like around 2 3 a.m like around 2 or 3 a.m i'm gonna go out and start heading out so i guess i'll catch you guys uh later um well tomorrow morning <laughs> All right, peace out, guys. See you guys later. Peace. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today is what? Thursday, May 27th. Uh, local time is 3.17. Yeah, 3.17 a.m. Uh, Central time currently located here in Excelsior Springs, Missouri. I don't know, but I... I'm pretty sure yesterday I already put it on the screen. <laughs> um, as you guys saw yesterday, we came over here to pick up a load. 
unfortunately I couldn't show you guys uh, inside the trailer because uh, they had me backing in with the door closed and they open it from the inside and then they close it from the inside and they put the seal already so maybe uh, whenever I get down to Georgia to deliver this load I'll go out and show you guys unless they told me unless they tell me to go out and back in with the door closed again but uh what we have going on today guys uh i am gonna be going to a flying j uh around kansas city i believe it's the flying j on interstate 435 before i get onto interstate 70 towards st louis um well what else oh I forgot to tell you guys uh, yesterday I finally was able to do my PM guys and I also went ahead and replaced the two wipers look at that it's not giving me any any streaks or anything let me go ahead and set the brakes again because I was gonna start hitting now let me go ahead and show you guys um, how much I spent on the PM just in case if you guys are wondering uh, but I have it here. <sighs> Let me turn this red light on. Let me see if you guys are still awake. I know it's kind of early, guys. Uh, you know what? Let's do this one. Is that a little bit better for you guys? Um, I actually did this during my last load, the one that I didn't record, uh, from Freeport, Texas, uh, to Missouri. Um, I did the PM at the Speedco in Joplin, Missouri, uh, right behind the Flying J on Interstate 49 before you get onto the, the 44. Um, I spent... uh with the pm and the two wipers because it was only like ten dollars each so i was like what the hell whatever um it was with taxes and everything included it was 415 dollars with 18 cent so no bad it's all right the labor was only eight seventy nine bucks so if i would have done it myself i could have saved $79 but whatever it's all good I don't know guys I'm one of those that I really don't care spending uh, money on the shop cuz I mean if, if you have everything how you supposed to like you're putting money to your uh, maintenance account then you're not gonna be stressed out like oh my gosh I, I i really gotta do it myself blah blah yeah i mean it's nice that you know if you, if you can do it if you have the time to do your pms and stuff like that then shoot go ahead and do it you're gonna save like 79 bucks but still if you don't have the supplies and stuff like that might as well spend it right but let's go ahead and put this back but with all that being said guys let's get on the road uh don't know where i'm gonna be stopping but i'll let you guys know down the road Peace out, I'll see you guys in a few.
All right, guys, it looks like we hit some type of traffic. Uh, we're currently traveling Interstate 24 East. Uh, what time is it? Uh, 12.15 p.m. So uh, what they're saying on the radio, it's uh, construction, which I don't know, but uh, right here on Google Maps is saying there's a 19 minute delay here. And I've been here for what, like 10, 12 minutes. And then I uh, started flowing a, a little bit. And then once again, we're going slow. Um, I did stop at the TA uh, on 64 and well at the 64 and 57 split I stopped there to get me a little bit of breakfast I was starving I really didn't eat good yesterday um, I stopped there for like 45 minutes or so almost an hour if you guys didn't know uh, when I take when I have to take a 30 minute break I don't take just a 30 minute break I usually take between 45 minutes to an hour. Oh, that's a nice truck right there. Look at that. I think that's a 379 or 389. That looks nice. I'm trying to see if I can get him on camera. But you guys see it. Uh, the goal for today is uh, to make it to... That looks nice. Uh, to uh, Oak Grove, Kentucky, which is about 92 miles away. Uh, with this delay saying I should be there in one hour and 43 minutes. Um, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting so distracted by that truck. <laughs> one day, one day I'll have me one of those. But for now, baby girl is making the money here. So yeah, Bob, if you guys didn't know, Old Grove, um, Kentucky, uh, right on Interstate 24. Uh, that pilot, that's where I usually stop before I get to Nashville or after passing Nashville when I'm low on my hours. So that's the plan. Right now I got 3 hours and 38 minutes on my... I think that's my 11 hour clock, but... Because my 11 hour and my 70 hour is kind of close to each other, so like a 20 minute in between so yeah guys uh with that being said let's uh let's finish with this little bit of uh traffic and i'll catch you guys later peace guys uh local time it's 207 a.m uh central time currently traveling interstate 24 east uh we just passed nashville tennessee as you guys saw i think i put a, le a little clip there but uh we just hit into some traffic apparently it's a bad accident just happened there's no, co uh, no cops or anything. Uh, they were saying they're on their way. Uh, yeah. Uh, we still good to make our appointment at 7.30, saying we should be there at 6.32. Oh, there you go. 
where's the where's the ambulance coming up here? It just happened too. Uh, let's see what the radio is saying. Apparently, there's a four wheeler uh, upside down. I don't know. Well, they were saying it's, it's bad. And I think it happened on the right lane here, so I gotta move over. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, everybody's moving over right now. Sheesh. Hopefully, hopefully whoever got into an accident, it's okay, guys. Guys, you, just people, man. People don't know how to drive in the rain when it's raining. Like, it's just common sense. Why would you go fast? Why go fast when it's raining? And when the road is like wet, why? Oh, that's crazy. Uh, oh, we'll see. Oh, my. I do gotta put some fuel. That's what's going on. Um, uh, my do got to put fuel in about 85 miles. Uh, I'm running. I mean, I'm still good, but I don't like it to be that low. So we'll see. All right, guys. I guess I'll catch you guys later. I'm gonna put a, a little clip whenever I get to to the accident, so I can show you guys what happened. Hopefully, they don't have it shut down for hours while they trying to clean everything up so we'll see all right peace out guys guys uh as you guys saw we got here already to Kennesaw Georgia time to deliver this load man uh the guy told me that he was gonna pull out one of the trailers on door 16 and then uh, I'm gonna go out and back in so in the meantime let's go out and open the doors and see how they loaded this. Pasta. That's what, that's what we have. Oh shoot. You guys see that, right? It's like slanted a little bit. Huh. I don't know if they're gonna say something. What do they say? Rob. Can you guys see that? Hold on. Robberino and Freshy since 1901. Pasta. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna say about that one. And I 
think that's the only one. Oh. I think he already pulled. Yeah, he's about to pull the trailer out. I oh, don't know, that, that wasn't me. See, that's the, on, the only bad thing about uh, when you go to, so, uh, to some of those places that they have you back in with the door closed and then they close it from the inside and put the seal already. It's like, you don't know how they let, let me go out and I'm gonna go inside real quick. So that's the bad thing about loading in one of those places that you back in with the door closed and then they put the seal before you even pull out. It's like you don't even know how they actually loaded the trailer. I don't know if they actually loaded the trailer with the pallets on the side or something. But, alright, let, let me just uh, wait for this guy to move the trailer. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, that's what we need. Door 16. we have a lot of space but sometimes that's a bad thing when you have a lot of space <laughs> okay, that's good all right let's back it in going slow I know but it's good to uh, take your time when you have a lot of space huh and I'm also going slow because of those uh those pallets That's good, that's money. Ah, let's do it nicely. guys we got empty time to go home all right we're good i'm gonna go ahead and move the tandems and then then time to hit the road We got about 35 miles away from home, so 
Uh, yeah, guys, uh, with that being said, I guess I'll catch you guys whenever I get to... Oh, I thought I saw something. Whenever I get to, to the yard. Peace. Alrighty, guys, let's get out of here, man. Uh, we just parked the truck at the yard. Now, well, now I'm gonna go to, to the car wash because this car is filthy, guys. Crazy filthy. Uh, so we're gonna go out and do that pretty quick and then it's about two minutes away from here. And then right after that, we're gonna go home and relax for the weekend, yes sir. Um, I do have a load on Monday. So, but that's gonna be on Monday. I'll let you guys know everything about the load. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. And go ahead and hit the like button if you guys are enjoying this type of videos that I'm doing. And subscribe too. If you want to see more, that helps me a lot. But with that being said, guys, peace out. Have a nice weekend. And be safe out there. Peace.